guys welcome to kk java tutorials in this video tutorial we will learn how to write a sql query to find nth highest salary of employee yeah so here uh, idea is that uh, we have to create a generic query that shouldn't uh, 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 any database a specific query but that should be the generic query which should work for any database right so here i am going to use the concept which is called correlated subquery using co correlated subquery we can write a generic query to get the nth highest salary of the employee right so here i am going to write uh, that queries i would write select and here you can uh, you can uh, select like employee name or salary or you can put the star so that entire row will be selected right so select a star from I would say EMP in my case table name is EMP and even I am putting the alias of this table let me show you my table so this is my table and they are just uh, if you click over here right so employee sorted in descending order if I click again so employee is basic let me sort in descending order so now here I have a 14 employee and here you can see I have sorted this employee by clicking on the header in descending order so this is the first highest salary this is second highest salary this is the third highest salary so third highest salary there are uh, some duplication right 30 uh, sorry 3000 and similarly we have a fourth highest salary something like that so we should write a we have to write a query which should be much more enough to get the nth highest salary means second highest salary third highest salary second highest salary first highest salary again even so in first higher salary you have already max uh, uh, function right so you can use max function to uh, get a higher salary still this query will help us to get the max salary as well which you do by the max function right so i would say select a star from emp e1 right where so where here you have to write n minus 1 right in minus one n is the nothing but the number equals to here i'm going to write a sub query over here right so n let's say i want to get the second highest salary so n should be replaced with the two just two minus one one right so one equals to this sub -query, sub query we have to write whatever we are going to write so it's a select uh select uh, uh, uh select count distinct so you know the distinct and here I will write a cell so so distinct we have to use to deal with the duplicate salary from EMP and let's say E2 this is the second alias and here I am going to write a condition right in where clause where E2 dot cell greater than E1 dot cell yeah so basically this divide salary uh, this divide table into the two different categories and that's uh, e, e, both actually that's internally creates the two, two result set and then these two result sets compare each other right so if i uh, format this query then query looks like this so let's say i would like to get the second highest salary so n should be replaced with the uh, n minus 1 so n should be replaced with 2 so 2 minus 1 1 so this will give us the second highest salary if i run this query right then you see this will give us the second highest salary that is nothing but the 3100 if i go to the table here 3100 who is nothing but the scott who is having the second highest salary in the employee table yeah similarly if you want to go the second uh, third highest salary so n minus 2 so 3 sorry n minus 1 n n is here 3 3 minus 1 is 2 so 2 so now this is going, going to give us the third highest salary in our table right so here third highest salary so 3000 uh, that's the repeated there are three uh, two employees having the same salary and that's what two records have been repeated let's say i want to get the highest salary right so n minus 1 n should be replaced with the 1 1 minus 1 0 so if you replace with 0 these things then this is going to give the highest salary which usually you get by the max function right so 5000 is the 5000 dollar the max salary so guys this is the generic basically uh, uh, query 
uh, I have written to get the nth highest salary, right? Now I'm going to make some change in this query, right? So if you Google it, then you'll get various, basically a solution for this. So here, uh, here instead of n minus one, you can put the n. When you put the n, then here you have to make little change. Here you have to make this like this, greater than equal to. Then you can put here. Then if I put the zero, then this will give us the maximum salary. Uh, G, not uh, let's say I want to get the first uh, highest salary. So you have to uh, replace n with one. So if I run this, then here you can see this returns as the maximum salary. Second maximum salary, just you have to replace with a two, right? And if I run, then second max salary, right? So I hope you understood. Here instead of n minus one, you can write the uh, here uh, initially I have written n minus one. So instead of n minus one, you can. Uh, so this is the one of the query generic query. Instead of n minus one, you, of course you can write n. Uh, but if you write n over here, then this condition where you have written e2 dot cell greater than here you have to just do the equal to. Then here you can. Uh, put n. n means if you want to get the first highest salary then 1 n should be replaced with the 1 second highest salary then n should be replaced with the 2 third highest salary n should be replaced with 3 but in this query if you want to get the first highest salary then n should be replaced with the 1 so n 1 minus 1 0 if you want to get the second highest salary then 2 minus 1 1 something like this so this is the true variation of this solution I hope you understood guys so this is the generic query which will will be, will be valid for the all the databases guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial